Hi everyone, Nina here. Today, I want to talk about the reform leveling curve. Named after arch-villain reform, this leveling curve allows you to utilize your one-cost hero power in the most gold-efficient way. The curve works best with heroes that provide you with some kind of value, be it minions, econ, or stats. The best examples are Rafam, Maiev, Mukla, and Skamzarak. Other heroes that can also play Rafam Curve are Eudora, Cariel, Sourfang, and Queen Wagtoggle. Heroes with one cost hero power that you should not play Rafam Curve are Toki, Tess, Sneed, and Lady Vash because they do not gain any extra value out of every hero power. There is no specific minion type requirement to play Rafam Curve because it's a hero power dependent curve, but having mechs and demons in usually means you are more likely to win early game fights. So on turn 1, which is 3 gold, you want to buy the best minion in the shop. If you are a farm, you can buy Selemental or Shell Collector to hero power on turn 1, but be aware that a lot of players in high MMR lobbies will not play any minions on turn 1 when Elementals and Nagas are in. On turn 2, which is 4 gold, you buy minion and hero power. You want to prioritize pairs, Tempo units and Econ units. If you're a reform, it's wise to keep an eye on the lobby to see what everyone else is buying and buy minis accordingly to maximize your chances of getting a triple. On turn 3, which is 5 gold, you have one roll to find a minion to buy and also hero power. Turn 4, the 6 gold turn is the first leveling turn. You want to buy a minion, hero power and level to tier 2. On turn 5, which is 7 gold, you want to level to tier 3 and hero power. On turn 6, which is 8 gold, you can level to tier 4 and hero power. Or if you have a really good shop, or if you're really behind in the lobby, you can buy 2-3 minions and hero power instead. So here it is, the farm curve. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about the curve, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye!